Hello and welcome to my channel. It's Jess with Love to Plan with Jess. Today I have my Happy Planner monthly layout that I use for social media. I'm going to decorate it with Live Love Posh Chic Fall. This sticker book came out last fall, but there are so many super cute stickers in it that um, I really wanted to use it this year. And there are some Halloween stickers in here that I thought would be perfect for an October spread. Look how cute these are. I just love these stickers. So we're going to use these stickers this month to decorate. Um, and I'm actually really excited to film this video and to decorate this. Um, it's my favorite to decorate and I only get to do it once a month because it is a like a monthly setup. So um, I'm really excited to, uh, to decorate this. So looking at the colors in the stickers here, I think for my boxes, I am going to use orange, purple, and black. I think that, um, that that will look really pretty. So I'm going to start by putting boxes um, for these habit trackers here. So let's grab those three colors, um, some like header stickers in those three colors. So I have a purple and we will grab an orange. I'm gonna go with this middle orange. And for black, uh, this book doesn't have any black boxes in it, but I have a Mojo Jojo neutral boxes that, um, that we're going to use. So uh, this is Mojo Jojo plans, neutral boxes, and I'm gonna use that for, um, for all the black boxes that we use today. All right, now these header boxes might be, yeah, they're, the size is a little bit different. Um, I mean, I could if I really wanted to like cut this down a little bit, but um, I don't think that it's that big of a deal. So <laughs> we're going to just go ahead and put the black one in the middle. Now, do I want the purple on the bottom or the top? I'm going to put a header here as well. Um, let's do the purple here. And we'll do the orange down here. And for the header box over here, I think we'll go with black. Um, let's take my Tombow Mono Correction Tape and just white out, check it off so that you don't see it underneath the, oops, underneath the header box. There we go. And while we have our correction tape out, let's um, just white out all of the like little prompts here. And hopefully we will cover all of these up with stickers so you don't see the white out. I don't always end up covering everything up with, um, with stickers, but I try. Okay, while we have our header boxes, while we're kind of thinking about that, let's put another one here. And this is going to be, um, I'll probably put like important or priorities or goals or some kind of header in there. And let's go with maybe purple. I think we'll do purple. Okay, now that we have those header boxes in and we can judge spacing a little bit better, let's put in some decorative stickers. So the way that I use this layout will kind of like map it out. So um, this section here, just decorative, I uh, use these habit trackers. This one I'm going to use to track um, YouTube comments. Uh, that I answer them. This one is going to be for when I post on Instagram and this is going to be just that I like update my planners. So um, just a habit tracker for just updating my planners in general. Mm, I don't love that that's like purple with purple. We can switch these two or I can find something else to put on there. Um, we have this little sign, but that one also is purple on the bottom. We have this sign. That's pretty cute. Let's take it from this page since this is the page that we have um, stickers taken from so far. 
That's cute. We can put this little sign here. So I have my three habit trackers. This section I use to track all of the different releases that are going to be um, happening during the month of October or during the, the given month. And I like this candy corn and I think I kind of want to put it here. I am going to put some boxes in here though. So we could just like overlap them. I think that that might look really cute. I just can't decide uh, if I want the purple to go on this side or this side. We also have this like orange one that I think we can put over here. I also love this like candy bucket with the candy corn coming out of it. So you know what I'm going to do? I think we'll put this one on this side of the page here. And then let's take, oh, is this one bigger? Is this bigger than the purple one? I can't tell. It's a little bit bigger this way, but it doesn't come out as far, which I actually think is going to be better for this side. So I'm going to put this here just like that. And it is going over the top here, so I'm just going to trim this little piece off. Okay, and while I'm thinking of it, I wanna take this little like candy bucket with the candy spilling out and put it down here. So I was saying this section is used to track all of the releases that are going to be happening throughout the month. And this section up here, I put the Zooms that I will be like attending. And so I'm gonna put two boxes here. Let's do a purple and an orange since we have that black right there. So I'm gonna grab two boxes. Let's take this purple one and an orange one. Hopefully I have an orange one in this size. I think let's do it like that. Um, well, I'll maybe put some kind of sticker up there to cover that white out. So I'm gonna put this box here and this one, let's put it down here so maybe we can fit something decorative up here to kind of camouflage that white out a little bit. So that will be for the Zooms that I have this month. This space down here will just be decorative. Um, and then on this side of the page, I'll put, I think I usually put four or five boxes. And this is where I track all of my like stats and metrics for my channels. Uh, and then this section down here, I really use kind of as decorative. And then here I um, put like three goals or priorities or important things or something for the month. So that's kind of how I map it out. Um, we're going to do decorative down here, but let's put the boxes in up here that I'm going to need. So I definitely want to incorporate black, uh, but let's grab, we need some orange on this side of the page for sure. So let's take, uh, let's take a full orange box and I'm going to grab a black box as well. And I do think I need five boxes in total. I'm gonna take a square black box. All right, I'm gonna put the orange box up here. Um, and I'm going to overlap it a little bit with that uh, candy corn that's there, but we're gonna lift it up and kind of put it over this box if I can get it to come up without ripping, hopefully. Okay, 
That looks cute. Uh, let's put a black box here. Now let me grab a purple one. And the different statistics that I track, um, in case you're wondering, um, I track my like subscriber count. I track, uh, I think this time we're just gonna go over this sticker and we're not going to like pull it in front of the box. We're gonna just layer the box on top of it. So I track my subscriber count. I track um, my revenue that I earn from YouTube. I'm gonna grab another black box. I track my watch time hours, um, my Instagram followers. Um, if you are not following me on Instagram and you would like to check me out over there, I do have um, an Instagram account with the same name as my YouTube channel, Love to Plan with Jess. Um, and I am trying to post more like life stuff over there. Just, uh, you know, I post like my planner spreads and things like that, but I am trying to uh, be better about kind of like sharing a little bit more um, just about my life over there as well. Um, so one of these boxes will be to track like the number of Instagram followers that I have and then the number of views that I get from uh, YouTube. Uh, let's do an orange one for my fifth box. Um, I want to maybe put something decorative here. So maybe we'll put like a, an orange box down here or like my fifth box down there so that we have some space to put some decorative elements up here. Let's see. I did pull this earlier. Maybe we'll just use it down here. Let's just put it down here at the bottom. Uh, I'm going to just cut... Uh, oh, actually, I'll just put it down on the page and then cut it. Just trim off a little bit of that white, um, excess white part of the sticker. Okay, we're looking for something for these spaces. Um, I could also put some quotes in, but let's see if we have some cute decor to go in there before we put um I like this little trick-or-treat I don't like that there's like black and black though mm, I might put it over on that side I'm gonna hold off for just a minute though oh look how cute this is a little ghost trick-or-treating we are using that let's just cut this bottom here to make it flat And the ghost has a little flag that says spooky babe. That is so cute. Love it. I do think I want to incorporate quotes. So let's put a quote up there at the top. Um, I think this book has, yeah, it only has one page of quotes. So maybe I'm going to grab uh, Amber Plans Her Day. There are some Halloween. Um, she has a the holiday sticker book. Amber plans her day holiday quotes that um, will have some, here we go, a bunch of Halloween quotes in here. And then I also did purchase her advent calendar last year. And now that I'm thinking about it, there should be an October set in here. Yeah, with a bunch of October or with some um, October and Hall uh, Halloween quotes. So we can take some of these too. Oh, so cute. Okay, we have spooky season. I love this. Here for the booze, creep it real. I love all of those. I really like creep it real and that will fit over here let's see if we can find something small decorative to go up there just so that we can cover that white out this is a clear sticker so it's not really going to do much to cover that so let's see if we can find where did my stickers go 
there are these florals. Now they are the right color. The um, These are more like watercolor and these are more like cartoony. But I think if I put them in a few spots um, in the spread, I don't think it will look out of place. I think that it will um, that it will look okay. So let's do that. Let's put maybe like a small floral up here at the top. Uh, I'm thinking, I think this purple one. Oops. Yeah, let's put it like that. And then we can put this creep it real right here. And we'll cut this off here and here. And I can use the other half of this somewhere too. I'm just gonna cut this part off because there's barely any of it there. So I feel like it looks kind of weird. But now I can use this maybe like here. And let's take another one of these and put it down here on this side of the page, just to sort of add in a little bit more of this feel to the spread. All right, let's see what floral I think would work best there. I kind of want to use this one. It's really big. Let's see if we can make this one work. I think what I'm going to do is have it go over that purple one and under this orange one. Okay, I really like that. I'm just going to trim here and here. And then maybe let's put another floral kind of down here at the bottom, um, or maybe on this side of the page. We have this really big corner piece. Oh, I like these pumpkins. Uh, let's use the pumpkins over here. I'm just going to cut the bottom to make them flat. Um, let's put them on this side and I'm going to cut uh, the side of the pumpkin too to make that flat so that it can sit right up against here. Okay, I think that we added enough of this style to kind of bring it together. Uh, I think that that looks really cute. I do still have this little trick-or-treat bag. Let's put that here. Okay, let's see what other fun we can get into. Um, I want to put bullets here. Let's do that while I'm thinking of it. And I can, I think I'm going to put them like use orange, orange bullets here. We do have a lot of purple on the spread, I feel like. So I think that um, orange will work. And I'm just going to take these and cover up the these like circles that are already on the page just to add a little bit of color all right i um i like how that looks i think that it adds um adds a nice pop of color over there let's see what else we have um i did say that i wanted to put one more box on this side of the page and then we have this whole space here to add some decor to uh, this is really cute. This little, what does this say? Stay spooky. Join us for a spooktacular Halloween party. It's a little Halloween invitation. That's super cute. Oh, this little puppy. Let's put him somewhere. This little puppy in the 
jack-o'-lantern little trick-or-treat um, trick-or-treat bucket let's put him uh, let's put him here and let's put him sitting on a box so I think I'm gonna use black originally I wanted to bring in another orange but I think if we're going to um, have this little jack-o'-lantern sitting on on the box I think it would look better as a black box so where did that neutral uh, book go let's do like this size let's put the box here with this little guy sitting on top so cute I like these little leaves. They're like, are they screaming or are they singing? I don't know. Um, maybe we will save these for uh, the um, the daily task portion. So I'm almost done decorating this part. Uh, there are kind of three parts to uh, decorating this spread. Um, this is sort of the like main page and then we have also some daily checklists and so I'm going to go through and decorate these and then at the very end of the monthly section there are these just like lined pages and this section I use for like a forward looking so this will be like forward looking into November um, sort of brain dumps and things like that so I just put some big boxes and decorate around it so uh, we are going to decorate all those pages coming up in just a moment uh, we are almost done here I feel like we should put let's get a quote and put it like down here Okay, let's see what we have. Uh, we used the quote that had like little spider webs in it. And this one says here for the booze with that same like spider web um, effect in it. And I think I can cut it apart and have it go across. So uh, my scissors have a bunch of stickers on them. Let me clean those off for a second. Okay, so I'm gonna cut this apart. And I'm going to put here. for the booze. Okay, that's cute. That fills that space in. Uh, love this side of the page. I could use something up here to cover that white out, but I don't know that I have anything that is gonna work in that space. And if I don't, that's fine too. I do have this little spooky, it's kind of like the same as that trick or treat. No, I don't like that. All right, I think we're gonna just leave that white out there. And let's take a look at this side. I think that this is looking pretty cute too. Kind of like these little guys might be able to fit them if we move that box and that little dog let's see if we can move them okay and uh, let's put this up here these little leaves are so cute okay and now Um, I can kind of layer it with this pumpkin here and put this little dog like that. 
That's really cute. Mm, we can fill this space in by putting this little guy over here. Let's just cut the bottom off. And trim here. Okay, I like this a lot. I think that it came out so cute. Uh... I don't know, I'm kind of going a little nuts now, but what if we put this over here? <laughs> That's cute. Okay, uh, just about done. I'm gonna take uh, an orange or purple, probably orange, let's find an October and maybe one, two, three to cover uh, up these numbers. I have Mojo Jojo Rainbow Date at 2.0 hand. Trying to think like which color would look better. I, I'm kind of feeling orange. So let's find an October, an orange October. Do we have an orange October? Here we go. And let's cover up the October here. And let's grab a one, two, and three. Let's see if we can find them in this page. That's kind of like the multicolored page. Here we have a one, a two. Do we have a three? An orange three. I don't see one, but I can cut the three off of that 30. So let's put this one here, two, and then I'm gonna just take my craft knife and I'm just gonna cut this three off of that 30. Now the reason that I am uh, doing this and not using the numbers that are uh, over here is because uh, if I want to use these to like redate, um, then I'll still have like that full set there. Okay, it looks super cute. I'm going to just take my white pen and just white out these like black lines that are showing around these stickers here. What do we think? I think it's absolutely adorable. I love it. Okay, now we're going to move on to the daily sheets. Now moving on to the daily task list. So I am going to use um, these as task lists for each day. So I'm going to label them with um, all of the dates and the days of the week and we will decorate just a little bit. So I have Live Love Posh Functionally Chic and I just picked up this sticker book. Um, it was recently on sale and there are days of the week uh, stickers in here. There's this font and then there's these bold like black ones. One, two, three, four, five, six. There are six sets of them, so I will have plenty to decorate. I just don't know if I wanna use those or these. I think we're gonna use these. Oh, and then I'm also going to need the dates, and I believe there are those in here too, yes. So I'm gonna use these square ones with it. So the first is, let's see, what day of the week um, does the first start on? It's on a Tuesday. So we are going to start with Tuesday here. So I'm just going to do like the first, um, maybe the first page or the first uh, like few of these on camera and then I will do the rest of them off camera because this is going to take me take me a bit. 
So um, we are just going to label the days of the week and the dates. And we have Saturday and Sunday. And then I'm going to grab the dates. And I think I'll use my tweezers for that. So we have the first, fifth, and sixth. And I do want to color in these circles and I'm debating if I want to color them all in either purple or orange, or um, if I want to alternate. So I have this purple. That's not a good purple. How about this one? Whoops. That's not a good one either. This is a good purple. So we can use this purple. Um, so I'm going to start with Tuesday and I'm going to color these circles in here. And I think I'm going to alternate between purple and orange. So let's see if I can find a good orange to use. I guess this will work. So we'll do orange. And just doing this so you can kind of get an idea of um, the look that I'm going for here. And once I get this purple one done here, um, I'm going to do the rest of these off camera. So I will um, date the rest of the month and color these little dots in. And I will meet you back here when I'm done. I'm all done dating and coloring in the circles in here. Um, that felt like it take for, took forever. Um, now I'm just going to add in a couple of these fun decorative stickers. Uh, we are not going to put too much decor in here just because um, I do need this to be you know, really functional because this is where I write like all of the tasks that I need to get done. Um, each day for uh, my YouTube channel. So just going to put some of these smaller ones. There actually aren't that many <laughs> smaller uh, smaller stickers in here. I can put this there. Used these on the other page, but they're really cute. We can use them again. Put them. Um, Oops, I don't really want to cover up that 16. Maybe we can kind of pull it forward on top of this. There we go. Um, where were those other little leaves? These guys, we can put these over here. Maybe... Oh, these are facing this way. And if we put them like this, they're gonna be upside down. That's not gonna work. So I guess we're not going to use these. We have this little pumpkin. Just cut the bottom off there and put this right here. That's cute. All right, I think that's enough for these pages. I don't really need to decorate a ton. Just want to get a little bit of fun on the page. Let's take this. I really wanted to use this on the other side, but I uh, didn't have space for it. So let's put this over here. We are going to go into a little bit um, of that functional space there, but I'll still have enough room to write. And I don't usually have that many things that I write um, uh, on each day. So not too worried about taking up that space. I would take this little eek sign. Um, and I think 
I want to put it here. Let's kind of line it up with like the top of the page here. Or this line, not the top of the page. That's cute. Uh, let's see what else can we sneak in over here. Want another something over here. It's like a little plate of candy cane, or not candy cane, candy corn cookies. Now, I would love to know, are you team candy corn or do you hate candy corn? I actually do really like candy corn um, and only get it this time of year. I don't know if it's available like year round or not, but I do buy candy corn at, um, <laughs> at Halloween time. Uh, let's see if we can put a quote here. It's not going to cover up that white out super well, but, um, or you know what, maybe let's take one of these little florals. We still have this purple one from, um, from the other page. I'll put that there. That doesn't really cover up all the white out, but it covers up a little bit of it. And um, let's see what else can we put in here. I really like this like Christmas tree with the ghosts. And I think I want to put it over here. Uh, I'm going to have to lift this 19 up. Let's put this down here. That is really cute. I like it. Now I feel like we need something like here or here, somewhere down on the bottom of the page. Oh, will this like house fit? Mm, it's kind of big. Maybe we can take this. Oops, this hay ghouls like Polaroid and put this over here. Um, let's put it kind of halfway between these two, like that. And I'm just gonna trim the side off there. Or should we have left the side onto this page? Maybe let's do that. Okay. All right, I think that that uh, is really cute. And I think that these daily pages are done. Now we're going to move on to the final, um, the final step in the monthly layout, which is the two back pages. And I'm going to use this as like forward looking into November. So we are all done with Chic Fall. To decorate, we're going to use Live Love Posh Posh Fall, and there are some like purple pumpkins and florals in here. And uh, the way that I like to decorate this is just to put some florals around the page and then use some big boxes in the center. So um, this section is usually pretty quick to decorate. I'm just going to take this corner floral and put it here. And I know that these videos tend to be really long because I am decorating quite a bit um, in them. So if you are still watching, um, thank you. I appreciate you hanging out with me. Um, but this really is like, it's so much fun. I just love... I uh, love decorating this layout. I really do have a lot of fun with it. That is really pretty. I'm going to take some of these pumpkins and let's put them kind of like along the bottom, like this one. Oops 
trying to decide if I want it like on the side or next to this floral. I think I want it over here. So let's put it like here. Just trim the bottom. Here's another pumpkin. Uh, let's put it kind of like a little bit more towards the center and we'll put some like florals around it. And we have this one. Uh, let's take some of the smaller ones. I'm gonna put a smaller one here. Let's take another smaller one and put it here. Uh, that's maybe too small. Let's put this there and trim. So today is the 29th of September. So I am kind of cutting it close, um, decorating this spread. It is my favorite to decorate and so sometimes I kind of like put a lot of pressure on myself and I wasn't quite sure what I wanted to do and so I was sort of dragging my feet a little bit in, uh, in getting this filmed. I don't know, I get like a little nerv nervous to film this one. Um, one, because it is like, it's a lot to decorate um, and this video usually is pretty long and it does take quite a bit to like edit and everything uh, but also like I feel like I really need uh, to be feeling creative and um, so I was kind of dragging my feet a little bit getting this one um, getting this one filmed and I figured since it's Sunday and don't have much going on, it's kind of yucky weather outside, that I would sit down and um, and decorate this spread. I feel like we need a bigger floral over here. I'm going to have to go into that other page, I think. Let's do like a smaller one here. I'll do the other smaller one like up here. I have this stack of pumpkins. I think I'm going to put that here. And if I'm going to take another bigger floral, I'm going to use this. For some reason, these stickers, when I'm pulling them up, they seem to be ripping the page um, a lot. I don't know if, because, if it's because they're... Uh, like older from last year. I don't know. It doesn't seem, um, they don't seem to be coming off the page very easily. All right, let's take some of these other larger florals here. Let's take this one. that there. And I think we'll put this one up here. And it's going to go over the page just a little bit there. So I'm just going to cut those apart. There we go. And we can fit that right there. 
I think that's good for now. Let's put my boxes in. So I want four boxes and we're going to use purple, this purple. And I think I chose purple and green. Yeah, let's do purple and green and we're gonna use like this darker green. I think that that will look really pretty together. Um, and I'm going to take these double long and double wide boxes and maybe we'll do um, like a full size box also, uh, just kind of depending on spacing. So let's put one here. And the four different like categories that I have for these like forward looking, for this forward looking section, um, I have one for like a brain dump, one for video ideas, one for like wacky holiday ideas. So like what are all the different wacky holidays in November so that I can plan if I want to do any fun spreads. And is that three of them? And then the fourth one is what my like monthly challenge is going to be, um, my wellness challenge. So uh, every month I do a different wellness challenge and... Um, I have a place to kind of like brainstorm what that's going to be. So let's put this here. Okay. And I'll take green one. And I think I want it this way. Let's put this here. And I think I'll grab a purple, like, full-size box from Series 5. Oops, past it. And these are the pastel functional boxes that I'm using. So let's put this one down here. And usually I put header, like, stickers on the boxes, so... Let's grab two green headers that we will put on the purple boxes. So I'll do one and two here. And then I will grab, I'm going to need the series one of these pastel functional boxes to get the headers for these. Two header boxes, put one there, and this is where I will label. I will label this one video ideas. This will be wacky holidays, brain dump, and um, wellness challenge. Okay, looking adorable. I think that we can add in maybe a couple more of these decorative stickers. And how about we add in some quotes too? So let's take spooky season. I know. Um, maybe we won't go with the like spooky vibe since this spread isn't like super Halloween-y. Um, uh, I want to put this one down here because I think I want to stick a, like a pumpkin up here. Let's take this pumpkin and cut the bottom off. Put that there and put this here. It's kind of small for this area, but maybe we can put this here. And then there's these little like filler pieces. So we can kind of put these around the page too. And let's put a quote on this side. How about, I'm so glad I live in a world where there are Octobers. 
Let me put that right here. I have a little pumpkin. I think it would look cute here, but then we don't have any on this page. Let's put one up here. Right there. Okay, this one is all done. Now we are all done with um, all of the monthly layout pages. I'm going to go grab them all and we'll take one last look at everything that we did today. So first we have our main page in the monthly layout and this is where I will um, track my habits, track my releases, um, list my zooms and track all of my stats and priorities. I think this came out so adorable. I really love it. Then we go to um, the daily task pages where I have all of the days listed out so that I can plan um, my to-dos for the month. And I think that these sheets came out really cute too. And finally, we have my forward-looking pages where I will list um, some wacky holidays, uh, brain dumps, some video ideas, and uh, ideas for my wellness challenge. Um, for this page, we use Live Love Posh, Posh Fall. And for the other set of stickers, we use Live Love Posh, Chic Fall. I hope that you enjoyed this very long video. Um, this one really is my favorite. I really love decorating these pages. I hope that that came across in the video and um, I hope that you enjoyed watching. If you did, don't forget to hit that thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.